Hey, hi, this is Trisha out at the Cormont Village, and uh, this week we have with us Lori, and she is the library, she is, uh, runs the library at the community center in Cormont here. And um, so Lori, um, what is the Cormont Link? Uh, the Cormont Link is a link to the main libraries in this area in the Laurel system. Okay. Um, it replaced the bookmobile years ago that came around only once a week yep. somewhere in this community. And so they started this 10 years ago. Okay. We celebrated our 10th anniversary this year. So well, awesome. Because I, I do remember the bookmobile from when I was at the Cormorant pub and stuff. It usually was on, I think, Wednesday. Can't remember for sure, but yeah. Um, so what does what does Laurel stand for? Uh, L A R L, which is the acronym that we use, is the Lake Agassiz Regional Library. Okay. And they have nine links to their thirteen main libraries. Okay. So, like I say, Cormorant is actually a link to the Laurel system. Well, that's that's interesting because I guess that's something that I did not even realize that, you know, there is a, and to all the readers out there, they will know exactly what you're talking about when you say that L-A-R-L. -L. Yeah, that's Lake Agassiz Regional Library. It's a library system. We cover seven counties, and like I say, there's uh, nine links and 13 actual libraries. Oh, that is just great. Um, what items are available for people to check out and, and how do you go about with that process? Um, you have the books to check out, you've got, do you have like magazines, tapes, VCRs, what do you all have? We have here in the Cormat link, we have DVDs, movies, we have them for juniors and we have them for adults. Okay. We have CD talking books, which in other words is a book that's on, uh, it can be anything from three CDs up to, I've seen them up to 14, 15 CDs, and it's a talking book. You listen to it. Oh. And the actual books that we have, many categories, we have your adult books, we have youth books, sure. junior books, uh, preschool books, easy readers. And we have large print for those who prefer the larger print. So quite a variety. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a very good variety. Because of being right here in the lakes area, summer months, yeah, it's not that people are going to be on the lake all the time. And um, just fun to know that they can come in and no matter what their age, they're, you know, if they see well or not. There's times when I need something with a larger print. So... Um, that's really nice to know. Yeah, the larger print is very popular. Not only, you know, it's not that they can't see it. A lot of times, regular print, you just, your eyes get tired faster. And so yep. we get a lot of requests for it. We do not check magazines out at the links, but we can order them in from our other libraries and have them picked up here. Oh, okay. So anything okay. that's at our libraries, can be brought into to the, the link. other and links. Link and, yeah, sure. And check it out. Um, so, how can someone become a Laurel, like a, a member? Is that what you call it? Yeah. Um, card holder member. Yeah, card holder. Help. Uh, stop in and see me. Bring in a ID, uh, preferably with your address. If you own property or are 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 a resident of one of the seven counties that sure. we are in. And if your driver's license, which we run into here a lot in the lake area, their driver's license may say they're from Minneapolis or Fargo, sure. that type of thing, but they actually own some property uh, in the lake area here in Becker County or Clay County. If that be the case, bring in like a utility bill or um, your tax papers, whatever, from uh, the resident that's yep. in our counties. 
and then you fill out a very brief registration uh, application, whichever you prefer. We enter it into our computer system, give you a card, and you're good to go in any library or link in our system. In your system, that is, that's kind of neat to know too, because like I said, I didn't realize that you're involved with seven different, or 13. 13 libraries and libraries. nine uh, uh, links. So we actually have 22 sites. Wow, so does the link have a, a website? We are part of the Laurel website, and it's laurel.org. In other words, L-A-R-L dot org. And when you pull that up, you can access just general information of the whole Lake Agassiz system, or you can click on a specific library or link. Okay. There's an event calendar on there uh, that'll show you all the events going on in all of our libraries, in the including library. the Cormorant Lake. Oh, nice. And um, you can also access many services, uh, too numerous to mention here, but uh, everything from reading magazines online to ordering books online. Um, you can even learn foreign languages. If you are a card holder of Laurel, all of these are free of charge to you, and you can go to laurel.org and, and, and do it. Oh, even at your own home? Oh, definitely. Oh, On your own computer. Nice. Um, we have a program called Pronunciator. You can u learn up to 40 different languages on your computer at home or oh on gosh. your iPad at the beach, whatever the case may be. Oh, well, that's, that's really neat. Um, so anybody can pretty much come and they can become a card holder as um, long as they've got the proper ID or information that you've got and then they can go on to larl.org and be into the system and do things right at home. Yes, right? many, many services on, okay. online. Um, what's really convenient here at Cormorant, because it's a smaller yep. link, and we can't, we don't have the space to have uh, all the books and DVDs and sure. musical CDs and all of that here that Laurel actually has. So what's really convenient, you can go on to that website once you're a member and pick out a book or a CD or a DVD or a magazine, whatever the case may be, and click that you want it sent to the Cormorant link. You'll be notified that it's here when it gets here and you come here and pick it up so you don't have to travel to Moorhead or Detroit Lakes sure. or wherever the case may be. And a lot of times when you're at the Lakes area, that's, you just soon stay close. So um, did you have anything else to add? Otherwise, I think we'll wrap well, it up. One thing on that, when I said to go on the website and request, I just want to say that I know there are people that aren't comfortable on computers. Yep. So call my number, leave me a message uh, that so-and-so would like such and such a book or DVD or whatever um, ordered in, into Cormorant Link. Sure. Or come and see me, we'll go through what's available. What are the hours that you're open? Uh, because Mary had told us that the historical room is open at the same time. Yes, when you come into the link, um, you can also go through the museum and the historical site. Uh, we are open Monday from 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay. Wednesday from 4 to 6.30 p.m. Okay. And Thursdays from 10.30 to 12.30. Okay. So about a two and a half hour shot, and you do try to get the people that are working so they can come in the evening too if they'd like. Yes, that's so, why we're open a little, um, the later shift on sure. Wednesdays. Sure. Well, Lori, I thank you for taking time with us to um, enjoy the library here and tell us about the Laurel Link and all the process that's um, the easy process that people can go through just to get onto that. So anyway, um, that wraps it up for today. So thank you from Trisha at the Cormorant Village and we'll see you next week.